welcome to the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming, and the game you've all been waiting for. Well, I say all of you, a lot of you are still asking for a continuation of XCOM Terra from the Deep, which will be coming, give me time, but this is an exciting new release. This is Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Now, I'm going to get the obvious pun out of the way first. I have never been Skyrimmed myself, but... I know one chap who has, and he says it's great fun on a Virgin Atlantic flight, providing the other chap has wiped first. Now, with that awful joke out of the way, and I've heard far too many people talking about being Skyrimmed lately, I think we should play. As you can see, I have no capacity to load, because this is my first attempt at this game, so if we can ignore the... People in the background, and the scrolls have foretold of blow. I hope you read it. Bethesda Game Studios presents. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. I got presents before it came up. Sorry, sorry. A Game of Thrones. That could be Sean Bean in the back there, except he did do the voice of one of the characters in the previous game. Now, I will say that I wasn't a huge fan of Oblivion, you know. I enjoyed it for the first part, uh, well, before it got repetitive, before it got samey, before I got tired of just going into random dungeons, killing increasingly difficult monsters, sealing the same old treasure, and oh, oh finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walk right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But they've captured you. Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Get a hold of yourself, hey, man. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be the home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. We will remember that name. Rorikstead, possibly. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. No offense, mate, but you need a wash. Now, yes, Oblivion, General I've Tully's found the military oh. governor. Shut up! And it looks like the Dalmor are with them. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Wouldn't surprise me, meddling creatures. Filthy creatures. Yes, yes. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vlog is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Ugh. Funny. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. If you've been to Cyrodiil, you know that any of the towers, forts, and so on outside of the main city are inhabited with monsters, so no wonder they don't make you feel safe anymore. Now, I promise I'm not mocking Oblivion. As I say, Oblivion was a very picturesque game. It looked absolutely fantastic. But I did find the gameplay very repetitive. and I, So I'm coming into this game with a very open mind. I am not going in. I haven't uh, read any previews, any reviews. Uh, I know very few spoilers. So I will let the game speak for itself. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Port the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. 
Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Mm, this isn't boating well. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! Oh dear. Run, run, you fool! Oh dear. Like running? How Wait. about that way? You there? Step forward. Who are you? Who indeed? Okay, so now let's get to pick our race. So let's start at the beginning. An Argonian reptile man. You can breathe underwater and regenerate health. A Breton, resistance to magic, and they can absorb spells. A dark elf. Ugh, no, I, I think not. Um, look, it looks like a certain YouTuber I know. What happens to that high elf's face? Hmm. Now, Imperials can get money, and I do like my money. And who doesn't like a nice pushy? Um, we don't. We could go with the, oh, the typical Nord to make their opponents flee. An orc. Hmm. Red guard or wood elf. Well, you know what? I have never played a wood elf, and I'm not well known for playing druidic characters so I think I'm gonna go for one and I'm gonna change his name if I can I don't think I can so let's let's say that's done then so body well, oh we can change the sex between how many um, oh just two now a male or a female I think we'll go for the male because it makes it easier on my voice and what next presets Oh, uh, it could be a Githsarai there. A Githyanki. Uh, a strange sort of Jufro going on there. I uh, don't like the look of that Wookiee type. Um, oh, sorry, Klingon rather. Oh, I like him. Uh, he was a member of the Huron. Oh, I'm thinking that one. That one uh, suits me quite well. And to be honest... Uh, oh. But I'm going to be an elf that has a bit of weight on him. He's not your average elf. Oh, we'll go there, I think. Okay, so that's the body done. And now the head. Complexion. Well, an elf shouldn't have a stubble. Could be lined there. I'm guessing this these markings on my face, as well as marking me as a member of the Legion of Doom, uh, are tattoos. How dirty am I? I'm I'm quite clean, I think, but I don't know how to how you tell what's the cleanest. Dirt colour. Actually I do seem to have a stubble, don't I? Ah oh, well. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Okay, well, we don't want to be dirty. Scars. Uh, every every warrior needs a scar, I think, but it's what, what I got that scar from. Can I have something that was from an outraged lover, or maybe her uh, other half? Now, that looks like the sort of scratches across the face that a lover might give you. That doesn't. That looks like the sort of scratches across the face that a female may give you if she's trying to fend you off. Um... We will go for that one there. War paint. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> why so serious? Hey! It was Jerusalem. Member of the Black Hand. I don't want to look like the ultimate warrior, quite frankly. Although I am quite like digging the sort of Native American vibe with all this. That is that is quite a good one. But you know what? I actually like that sort of black hand look, so except it's not black. It will be. I am a member of Kane's Chosen. I am 
a member of the Black Hand. Okay. Nose type. So we can go for Italian nose, Jew nose. I suppose it doesn't really matter if I've got makeup all over it. No, I'm, I'm quite fond of a prominent Romanish nose. Nose height. Mm, yes, I like telling my nose other people. Nose length. Mm, jaw width. They call me Arnold the Elf. Jaw height. Now, bear in mind, you know, having never done this before, I am just kind of making this up as I go along. <laughs> and I don't know whether I may, may, as the game goes on, we may well decide, oh dear, that was all a big mistake, because I look ridiculous. Laugh lines. Oh, we, don't, we want laugh lines. My character clearly is full of mirth. Look at him. Nose colour. Oh dear, that could be unfortunate, couldn't it? All right, we'll give him. My my character likes a bit of the old gin. Chin color. Neck color. So if it's war paint and not a tattoo, one would presume that it will wash off if I get in the water. Well, let's see. This is going to be a test of the game, isn't it? Eye shape. Hmm. Oh no. No, 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 no. Although that's quite Christopher Lee almost. Oh, oh hello. Um, there's some really monstrous looking things in there. I'm going to go for that one. Eye colour. Nah, oh, now that is uh, appealing. That's just plain weird. We could go for the Kia Seed look, you know. But I'm going to go for the really ugly bastard look. That is something utterly bizarre. So I think we'll go with some happy medium. There's a reason I was arrested. It wasn't because of any crime. It was just because I was pig ugly. And I wear eyeshadow into battle. Uh, okay. And my brow. Is it sloping? Do I look like a lummox? Oh, it's, no. It's the actual eyebrow. Ooh, I could very much go for Ian McKellen type bushy eyebrow, yes. But I don't think I will. No, that, that just makes me look surprised. Yeah, I very rarely go for characters that uh, meet this sort of complexion, I've got to be honest. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's, 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 follow the cursor. Woohoo, there we go. <laughs> He's going to punch me in the face in a minute. That is one ugly bastard. Isn't it? Okay, well, let's hope we get used to him. Mouth shape. Yeah, you sure got a pretty mouth there, boy. Um, I quite like that one. Mouth height. And that's a bit pinched. That's a bit simian. Chin width. I don't mind having a bit of chin width. Lip colour. Well, if we didn't go for the Damodar blue, oh damn, it's not not an option. I'm looking more and more macabre as the uh, character creation process goes on. And finally the hair, which is currently looking incredibly dirty. I quite liked it uh, down like that, however. Now, this character could be played by Pete Postlethwaite in the movie of Skyrim. Well, he could have been, of course, if Pete Postlethwaite wasn't, alas, dead. Look at that. That's like the evolution of man's hair. Facial hair. Now, this isn't something we should encourage unless we declare it's a false beard, given that elves should not have beards. While I do love the sideburn. Look, hey, uh, look, it's Brady. Um... Well, when he plays this game one day, he can have his own damn elf. Hair colour. Okay, Elric. Now, he could go for ultra black. Ah, there's Elric. 